This March, President Biden signed an executive order to expand the federal government's research into women's health and health conditions that primarily affect women. Conditions that affect mostly or only women have been historically poorly understood compared to conditions that affect men as well, simply due to a lack of research. For example, morning sickness, nausea, we all know about it. That's pretty much been a symptom of pregnancy since the, since the beginning of history. But it was only last year, yes, 2023, that researchers finally identified the actual cause of nausea during pregnancy. By the way, it is this specific hormone that the fetus releases, and women have varying degrees of sensitivity to it, so that's why some women get really bad morning sickness and others feel totally fine. So anyway, a long history of women's health being undervalued and thus under-researched. The executive order that Biden just signed calls on Congress to pass a plan investing $12 billion into a new fund for women's health research at the NIH. But in the meantime, the order directs the NIH to spend $200 million on women's health research and startup companies right now, as well as directing the Department of Defense to invest $10 million into studying cancers that affect women serving in active military roles. Women's right to health care is obviously a very fraught issue in the country right now, so it's nice to see our president investing in it. Follow Gander Newsroom for more.